Hi, this is Linda. Today we're going to have a look at the Backdrop tool. So, if you click on Backdrop, you'll get Select. Click on there and it opens up all the files for you. I'm just going to click on that 9 patch and bring it in. Now, if you go across to the right hand side, you can see that the actual size of that at the moment is 9 by 9. Point zero 0.01 but 9 by 9. If I want that to be bigger or smaller, I can change that size here. So all I will do is highlight it and I'll type 12 and click apply. And that has made that now 12 inches by 12 inches. If I know the scale that I want it to go up to, um, I can adjust it there. So if I want it to be 24 by 24, I can come across here again. I can highlight that and that will be a 200% increase. So I'll click 200 and click apply and again it resizes it for you. I'm just going to undo that one. Now you can see another few um, options here as well. We have rotate, adjust lightness and magic wand tolerance. If I want that to be rotated 90 degrees I will simply click on that and it will twist it for me. Now because of the, the design of the block you'll not see it move. Um, if I want it to be 180 degrees I click on that one and it will move that for me. But if I want it at a different angle I can just type it in here. So I'll type 45 so you can actually see it move and click apply. And there you go. So it's twisted that image for me. I'm just going to undo that again. Now, you can see adjust lightness, so that's the actual image um, vibrancy really. So if I lighten that image slightly, because what you're going to be doing on here is possibly drawing on top uh, different images etc. And you want to see the lines and where you are on actually um, putting the design itself. So I've lightened it slightly and I'll click apply. And you can see that it has lightened those squares a little bit. I can go right over to the other end and click apply. You can see how it's now gone, the grey has now gone white and the yellow is a pale yellow and I could still work with that because I can see what I'm doing in that area. If you don't like it like that, again, just change it along here. Now the magic wand tolerance is how um, sensitive that wand is going to be to the different colours that are within it. Now if you have an image that has a lot of shading within an area, you may find that you have to adjust that one way or the other quite a lot. Uh, we'll cover the magic wand in a different session. Now, if I go to an image that I've already loaded on a different page, we've got a few more options open to us as well. This image is not quite straight, uh, it's cockeyed. And what I want to do is A, straighten that up slightly, but B, I only want to be working with this part here this inner part. So you've got a couple of options open to you like I say. If you go back to backdrop tool up here you'll see you've got select, define horizon, define scale, load so you can load an image and delete so you can delete an image. So I'm going to click select. Now that it's selected as you can see it's brought up these options at that side again at your right hand side but I want this to be straight. So I'm going to click on the backdrop tool again and I'm going to click define horizon. Now it's not that wonky this one um, but I would want it to be straight but just to show you how it can turn it for you I'm going to create a false horizon if you like. So I'm going to click and as you can see now the icon has changed to something completely different it's like a uh, an offset square and I'm going to drag as if that is the horizon of that area that I want to work with. And when I let go, it twists it for you. So that horizon that I drew is now level. I'm going to undo that. And what I want to do now is I want to work with that area there, but I want that area there to be a specific size. So I'm going to click on the backdrop tool again and then click define scale. Now I want that bit there and you can zoom in as much as you need to to be able to get it exact if you want. I want that area there to there 
to be a different size. Now it states here, it opens up this box, define scale box, that the initial size and the initial length is 22.51. Now I want that to be, say, 25. So I'm going to click in there, it's already highlighted for you, but you can select it, 25. And I'm going to click OK, and you will see that that will now increase. Okay. So if I zoom out, and I decide, actually, I want it to be a little bit bigger than that, I'll click Define Scale again, and I'll click and drag, let go, and I now want it to be 50. So I will type 50. And there we go. And you can see, obviously, by the rulers up here, that it increases along size all the time. That's an easy way um, to resize areas within an area, um, rather than trying to use your tape measure here, click in, dragging across, measuring, and then trying to work out the scale that you would need to do the proportions to be able to increase the size over here at this side on your, on your right hand side. It's a great little tool. You can now use that either with the magic wand or you can create your designs on top of that area. Uh, and the world is your oyster, really, with it. Okay, hope that helps you. Bye.